Easton Le Chapelle was 14 when he first started taking apart toasters. Five years on, he's being touted as a global leader in robotics for his range of low-cost Anthromod robotic hands developed in his bedroom. Some can be controlled by a user's mind. Um, a good example is we actually had an amputee uh, use the wireless brainwave headset to control a hand and he was able to uh, fluently control the robotic hand in around about 10 minutes. So the learning curve is you know, har hardly a learning curve anymore. La Chapelle taught himself how to design, make and code his creations. Using a device that picks up on electrical impulses coming from the brain, he can manipulate his robotic hand's fingers. We actually track patterns and uh, you know, try and convert that into movement. Um, so with this, I'm actually able to change grips based, uh, grip patterns based off facial gestures and then use the raw um, actual brain waves and uh, focus to actually close the hand or open the, clamp, uh, the hand. La Chapelle's robotics aren't the first to be controlled by brainwave frequencies. Scientists in Austria fitted a truck driver with something similar in 2010. But that's not where the magic ends. 3D printing allows you to um, create something that's human-like, something that's extremely customized, again, for a very low cost, which um, for certain applications, such as prosthetics, um, is a pretty big part of it. The hands cost as little as $600 to make. La Chapelle wants others to use his work as a platform to create customized versions for themselves. He's made his software open source. That could eventually mean robots being sent in to control the search and rescue missions, as well as improving the lives of amputees globally.